Have you ever wondered why dolls intended to bring joy often end up being the centerpiece of horror stories? It's a curious conundrum, isn't it? These benign playthings created to bring comfort and companionship can also trigger fear and unease. But why? The answer lies in our instinct to breathe life into inanimate objects, a phenomenon known as anthropomorphism. This uncanny ability of ours, while fascinating, can also lead us down a path of discomfort. This paradox has deep roots in our history, as we'll soon discover. The history of dolls, particularly the creepy ones, is as old as civilization itself. Dolls began as simple clay figures in ancient societies, where they were often used in religious rituals or as playthings for children. As time marched on, the Victorian era ushered in a new age of porcelain dolls. Their eerily lifelike eyes and delicate features gave them an uncanny resemblance to real humans, unnerving some people. Then came the 20th century, with its mass production of plastic dolls. These dolls, with their fixed smiles and unblinking eyes, further cemented the creepy doll image. And let's not forget the role of media. Horror films and stories have utilized these inanimate figures to stir fear, thus amplifying their eerie reputation. So, the creepy doll phenomenon is not just a product of modern horror movies, but a centuries-old tradition. From ancient clay figures to porcelain dolls and modern plastic toys, dolls have always had a dual nature. They are playthings, yes, but they are also mirrors reflecting our human likeness, our fears, and our fascination with the uncanny. We've seen how the media, films, books, and tales have amplified this eerie aspect, transforming these innocent toys into vessels of horror. Culture and society play their part too, spinning narratives of haunted dolls and cursed playthings that send shivers down our spines. But let's not forget, this fear is also a reflection of our discomfort with the inanimate mimicking the living. Next time you come across a doll, remember it's not just a toy, but a symbol of our complex relationship with the inanimate.